I'm doing a follow-up video to my Tip Tuesday tutorial where I showed how to use the Artistic Wire writing system. I have set up a name on the writing system and I am writing the name Amber for our dear Amber who is the moderator of my YouTube channel and always is a great support and encouragement with all the challenges and the live streams. In this tutorial you will see that when I use the writing pen I actually put my finger on the end of the spool and that helps to create a little bit more tension on the wire so it doesn't have as much slack. So that's a little tip when you're using the writing system. Just if you can just have your finger available just to hold the spool a little bit when you need it a little tighter, it's a good little hack and it helps out a lot. So without further ado, let's see how we make the name Amber. And I will link up below all the templates that I've made so far using this tool. And you can see the full instructions for how to do each letter on the back of the package. I will put the link to purchase the wire writing system in the description below. So we have our pen and we're going to hold the end at the end of the jig and just bring it around the pegs. And you want to keep your finger on the spool when you need that tension to keep the wire tight. And we're going to slowly work our way around the pegs. You can rotate your wrist to make sure the wire is in the right position. You can push the wire against the pegs as you go to hold them in place. Push them down a little bit. The pegs do not have plugs on the back. Because this wire is not too thick, you don't have to worry about the pegs popping up. And we're just gonna go around Hold them with our thumb and finger if you need to. Go around the end at the R. And you can use their configuration or you can adjust it to suit how you like the letters to look. We're going to bring the wire out and clip it. And there we have the full name and you can lift it off the jig. And from there, we can use our nylon jaw pliers just to press the wire in place so it's a little bit flatter. You can hammer it with a mallet if you want as well. We're just going to pinch those wires in. You can push them a little closer together. This is where you can do all your last minute adjustments. You can squeeze the letters with your thumb and fingers, and you can also curve them out a little bit so it's not straight across, pushing parts of the letters closer together. And you can use this piece as a greeting card or in a frame or as an ornament. I'll link up some other tutorials that will help with that in the description below. You can get the templates in my Etsy DIY shop. Be sure to use the coupon code SAVE25 to save 25% when you purchase five or more templates, tutorials, or eBooks in my shop. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.